Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another Target shop with me. I am in the fall mode and I wanted to see if they had anything new for the fall season, if they put any of their decor out and just all around see what's new because I actually need to grab a couple things that I am in desperate need of anyways. So I thought we would go ahead and film this together and just see what's on new. So let's go ahead and get to shopping. Okay, so let's start off in the Bullseye's Playground area. I'm definitely seeing some new fall things. First off are these little glass pumpkins. These are a dollar each. They have like the clear glass. This kind of bronze glass is really pretty. Some different shapes. Here is like a fun blue glass as well. And then some little fall gnomes there. They do have some different signs too. Like this one, pumpkin sweaters, bonfires, autumn leaves, crisp air, apple cider, and blankets. This is $5. They have this kind of plaid welcome pumpkin sign. And then this one, which is fall sweet fall. So just kind of the start of some new fall things. These are cute too. Little baskets. This has a pumpkin shape to it. You could put like fruit in here. They're $5. They also have the apple as well. And then walking down a little further, they have some like different fall pillows here. Hey pumpkin, that one's really cute. Let's see, this one is five. They have this soft green one that says Hello Fall. And they have this navy pumpkin one too. I think this one has to be my favorite. These are back as well. I don't know if you can get them on the website, but always check the dollar spot. I store my fragrance mist in here. It's like a spinning tray for $5. So then you can kind of, I don't know if this one does spin. I thought they were supposed to, but yeah, I think it does. But then you can kind of rotate it and see all your different mists in there. They have some kind of velvety pumpkins of different colors for decor. Let's see, how much are these? These are $3 each. I like the green, there's like a true pumpkin orange, a blue. They have these little mini ones too. Look at this plaid one or check print. So cute. And then they have these like suede ones too. So many different pumpkins. These are little mini candles that are like the shape of a pumpkin. This is golden hour. That smells pretty good. It's $3 for that. This is vintage bourbon and apple. Excuse my terrible nail polish right now. I need to buy some today. And then we have balsam and palo santo. Looks like some little kitchen towels as well. Oh my gourd, it's a fall. And it comes with a fun plaid one too. Since we're kind of talking about decor, let's go see if they have the new Hearth and Hand Fall collection because I've been hearing some things about that. So I feel like it's been hard to find, but hopefully they did um, put it out already. It looks like they do have it set up here and I'm seeing the new Stanleys. Um, I know Target has started selling their stuff, but they came out with these like this neutral collection. I kind of like the tan one. These are the 40 ounces. And then I think it's like an exclusive color to this collection. They also have this kind of white and they have a navy. And they do come in these big classic bottles too. What else is in here? We have this fun picnic set, this little plaid pillow. There's a huge sage green cooler down there. Over on this side we have some really pretty patio stream lights. I would love to be able to sometime redo my outdoor patio, but we need to like completely redo the deck. But sometime I'll have a cute little patio. We have this candle. I do like the hearth and hand candles. This is so good. This is citronella. It smells like pure citrus oil. Some different blankets here, kind of matching with the pillows. It kind of reminds me of like a camping theme. It seems like just outdoorsy. This Bluetooth radio is really cool too. There's some more of the candles. I don't know if these are part of their fall collection. Oh, it must be because they have an autumn cider, but these are humongous, but they're actually pretty good like scent throw wise. Oh, that smells just like pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works. These are $39.99, but you do get like a lot in there and they're so pretty and decorative. This is the Harvest Spice. Salt and Honey, I think is the one that they've had. I think this is the one that I have that kind of smells like the Sol de Janeiro cream. Cause that's kind of what it's reminding me of. And I don't remember if that was the exact name, but I think this is the one. Do come in the smaller ones too, but yeah, definitely pick up the salted honey. I might get like a small one of it. Let's see, the small ones are only $6.99 for the one wick, and then they have some other sizes too, like this size, which has the brass tin for 
I just noticed these small one wick candles too. They have a pompous one that smells delish. This one is $6.99 as well as the herbs. And they have a salt one. I'm thinking this little flower setup too might be new. They have these little mini florals for $7.99. And then these really pretty vases. I noticed these little sink caddies and I feel like I should get one for me. I, I just never have anywhere to put my like dish brush. So this is nice. You could stick your brush in there and you could fit a soap. So I might pick this one up. It's $14.99. I never really film in the books because I don't really read like physical books. I just don't have room to store them. So I just use my Kindle, but I'm reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I'm on the third one. I think this is the newest one. So, so good if you guys like a fantasy type of romance book. I'm obsessed. I think it was Allie Dawson who got me onto this one. I know, I feel like everyone's reading it right now, but I'm really into those. So definitely check it out. I'm not usually a big reader, but I got on the third book in like two days. It's so good. Obviously, I love Colleen Hoover books too. I still need to read The Verid Veridity, I think it is. I have not read that one yet, but I've read quite a bit of hers. The Ugly Love is really good. Of course, it ends with us, which they're making a movie out of that one, which I'm so excited. Um, I haven't read this one yet either, so I'm kind of slowly getting back into reading, but I know that this these book, this series, is going to take me a while. I mean, this book is huge. So definitely try these out if you haven't yet. Okay, let's check out shoes because I feel like they've gotten quite a bit of fall shoes in stock. First is these by A New Day. They're like a clog style, a huge platform for 39. These are kind of cute too. These lug style boots, I love the white. I have a similar style to this. I think I got from Buckle. They have memory foam, so I feel like they would be really comfortable. These are 39. They also come in this like, I guess you would call it a snake skin print. Also for boots, they have these western style boots. I feel like the western boots are so popular for fall. I don't know if I love the style. I don't know, the design isn't my favorite on these. It just looks a little cheap to me. But these are the Xena boots. They have this cream and then they have the black with the white cutouts for $42.99. What I am excited for though is all of these new meals they have gotten in. And they look really similar to like the Steve Madden ones from the Nordstrom sale. They have this style in like an off-white, and they also do have it in black. There's a couple more I saw down the way, which I'll show you. Some new flats it looks like. They have that same style of shoe with the closed back. And I'm seeing lots of different like sneakers. These slip-ons, I feel like they do these every year. It's like a spotted almost leopard type of sneaker. And I've seen these up front, these like platform sneakers too. These almost look like the Converse platforms. I'm seeing lots of similar styles that were at the Nordstrom sale. I love these studded ones. Now these are really cute I think from Universal Thread. I might have to try them. They're only $39 and they also come in this brown. And then these I think are pretty cute too. They're like a mid-length boot. These are the Brindley boots. I'll link some of these so you guys could shop them if you guys are curious about them if I find them online. There should be like a little tab you could hit right here that will say to show all the products. But there's some cute ones. I kind of want to get some. I love the style of these lug boots as well. These are the Crispin boots. These are cute. I really like the black. They seem like they'd be really comfortable. I pretty much live in this style of boot all fall because the ones I got last year, they weren't from Target, but they were so comfy. So I'm kind of curious about getting these in the black. I might try them on. And then they have this all leather style, but I like the one with this like tan bottom. Okay, now I think that these mules look just like the Steve Madden ones because they have that little chain. How cute, I do like them in the brown. These are only $24.99, so it looks like this style's coming back again for fall. But yeah, if you're looking for a good dupe, the Steve Madden ones I think for the sale were like upper 60s, so this is quite a big price difference. And I feel like Target often has really great alternatives to the Steve Madden styles that I really like. 
I just wanted these stars above slippers and they're on clearance and I think I'm gonna grab them. They're only $10. Super comfy though and I love the leopard. Plus it has the rubber bottom so you can easily clean them off or you can wear them outside. So I think I'm gonna get these especially because they are on sale. I spotted some of the fall candles from the Opal House brand. A lot of these I think they do every year. They have the cinnamon pumpkin muffin. These are $10 each. That one is pretty spicy. This is Heritage Pumpkin, which I think is just their classic pumpkin spice. The Bourbon Pumpkin has this more fall label and there's like a Halloween label as well. Ooh, that one's good. You can definitely smell like a little bit of liquor in there. Pumpkin Brulee. This one I really like, Pumpkin Pancakes. This one is delicious. It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's kind of a dupe, I think, for that. Pumpkin shortbread. The fall day, which kind of smells like leaves. They have autumn harvest. This one also has the more spooky Halloween label, too. Love the label of the orchard cider with the ghost on it. This one smells really great, too. Getting all sorts of stuff today because I'm in need of just like random stuff for the house. I need a new shower curtain. I think I'm going to pick this one up. I like the design. It's like gray and then it has tan striping down it. So we're going to grab this one because our old one is kind of dirty and gross. So I need a new one. Looks like Starbucks has their pumpkin spice latte creamer out now. There's a non-dairy with almond milk and oat milk. Huh, I've never seen them combined. And then just the regular one. We finally have the grape poppy. I've been looking for this. It's somewhat newer, but I've never seen it at Target yet. I really do like their drinks. I've tried um, the Olipop brand as well, and I prefer the poppy brand. Now, we covered most of the makeup in the last Target video I did, so I'm not expecting anything new here, but I have seen some new body care, so let's go check that out. So they have a new scent. I believe it was supposed to be two, but I'm noticing right now this new coffee bean and oat milk latte scent from Beloved. They always do different seasonal collections. This smells so good. Actually, I feel like maybe this is also from the fall collection. This cashmere wood and sage possibly, but I think I definitely need to try this one. They have it in the shower and bath gel. There's a body mist and also the body scrub. Sometimes they have body butters, but I'm not seeing that. Oh, here it is. This is the body cream in it. I definitely do not need any more sprays, so I am gonna go ahead and grab the scrub though, because I know I can go through this, but it smells delish, like super sweet, kind of marshmallow-like, maybe a hint of coffee, and then I might pick up this body cream too, to layer with some different scents. There is supposed to be a new tree hut scrub coming for fall that's exclusive to Target, that didn't come out with the old to launches, and I can't remember what it was, but I know they have the moonlit glow here that's exclusive to Target, which this one's really fruity. I like that one a lot. And I also see it in the body cream. I know it comes in a spray too, but I haven't seen that one here. But this is somewhat new for Target. But I'm curious to see when they get that new fall scrub. Here's the photo. It's cinnamon dolce, so I was a little bit off there. Now I recently stopped doing my builder gel nails, so I'm just doing manicures at home. So I know Olive and June has really great stuff. I want to grab some of their things. Like this neutral set looks really cute. I also like this greatest hits set, but I've, I'm a neutral girly, so I feel like I might pick this one up because it has three polishes plus I think a top coat as well. Yes. And that is $17.99, so I might pick this up. I also want to try this cuticle remover because my cuticles are terrible, and any time they show, I pick at them so bad. So I feel like this would be very helpful when doing like at-home manicures. They have really pretty press-ons too for $10. These are little sunflowers. And they even have some like shorter sets too, which I prefer the shorter nails. I found some fall jewelry from Bobble Bar. They have these little <laughs> pumpkin spice lattes. They always have huge crazy designs. They have like a pumpkin pie. There's a sweater weather one and then they have like this huge scarecrow. Sometimes they do like a Disney collection but I'm not sure if they have that. Here's some smaller wearable ones like they have a Hello Fall candle, the little pumpkin pie, and then the leaves. Here they have like a basics collection from Wild Fable. These tanks are really cute. They have a nice stretchy material. They're only $10.00. Look at the hot pink. They also have some bodysuits. I bought one bodysuit from Target and it's been a favorite. It was a black one, kind of like this. These are 18. It also comes in 
this tan color. Some new Wild Fable graphics. This one is Dream Your Life. Definitely reminds me of like Billabong or Urban. They are very oversized too. Compared to the regular Target graphics, this one is 18. I thought they had some Halloween tees coming out. Maybe not here yet, but they do have this new Rolling Stones one with the daisies. It is cropped. I guess this one's kind of Halloween-ish. It has skeletons on it, but it's actually really pretty. <laughs> it just says keep going just to see what happens. These universal thread just cropped long sleeves are really nice. They're like kind of a Henley sort of material or ribbed, I guess you would say. It comes in cream, the burgundy, and there's a light pink one. More colors over here. It comes also in brown and this baby blue. These are uh, these are only $15. This leather skirt is pretty cute too from A New Day. It's like a chocolate brown. It's $25. I kind of wish it had shorts underneath. But I love the color. This dress also from A New Day I think is really pretty. It's like a silky leopard print material for $25. I cannot believe they have these, but these, again, look exactly like the Dolce Vita shoes that were on the Nordstrom rack sale, on the Nordstrom sale. They're the exact, like, twisted strap here. I just see this color right now in the black, but these are literally spot on. And the Dolce Vita ones, I think were like 70, 80 bucks. I'm trying to find the price of these. Um, these are $37.99, but yeah, they're literally the same. Looks like some fall colors in the pajama section, loungewear section. Stars Above has new colors in their fuzzy robes. I don't know if this is really a bathrobe or if it's like just a comfort, like throw on in the house kind of robe, but they remind me of like the Barefoot Dreams ones. It's $37.99 and they're so ultra soft. It comes in this rust and there's a baby blue. They have these sets here, which remind me of the Skims ones that they had, where it's like this top and that same material and then matching shorts, but these look kind of long. I don't know if I would like that. They have this new green, emerald green color in like their wide lounge pants. Again, super soft. And it looks like they came out with these dresses too. These are, ooh, very nice. They look like linen, but they're really, really soft too. These just maxi dresses. The green, the rust, and then the gray. And they have these little Henley pajama tops. Again, so soft. These little cropped tanks. So much new stuff from Stars Above. There's matching pants as well. So I actually found way too much good stuff at Target and I have you propped here in the window because the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this dress that I have on and it is that Stars Above dress that I showed you in the video and I love it. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not, but how cute. So seriously, it is so cute. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a mid length and it does have a little slit on each side, sorry, I, I don't have the best full body angles here, but I love this dress. But I did get some more things, so let me show you. I found even more stuff, you guys. So I had to grab the Salted Honey candle. I do have this one already, but I've probably burned through half of it, and I just love it, and it's not out all year round, so I wanted to grab another one. And I got like the medium sized jar packaging, but Definitely pick this up, you guys. It smells just like Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It's incredible, and I think it's a nice quality candle. It's not so heavy where it's gonna throw out throughout the entire house, but you will definitely smell it in like a medium-sized room that you're in. The scent is just amazing. So I highly recommend picking this one up, and it does sell out, so definitely grab it. I'll see if I can find it on the website. And then, as I mentioned, I wanted to get some stuff from Olive in June to start doing my nails at home, so we just got some regular polish here. I find this to actually be quite long-lasting. I have it on right now, and I'm pretty impressed with it. So I picked up their must-have neutral set, which comes with with three nude polishes and also a top coat. So I thought that was nice to just have a little bit of everything. I also picked up their cuticle remover because I feel like this will be helpful for me with my nails because I feel like my cuticles just grow in so quick. And that's the one thing I like about getting my nails done at the salon is they kind of like 
file that off or they use their little tools to get it off but this is supposed to remove it it's like a gentle exfoliant so I'm excited to try this it says you don't need to clip them or anything like that so that's also from Olive in June okay I found too many shoe products but I did get these slippers that were on clearance from stars above like I couldn't resist them for $10 they're so comfy they have the nice rubber bottom and I like the leopard print a lot I'm curious to see what they'll come out with for the fall season but I really like these they remind me of Uggs a lot just how soft they are and then I also grabbed these mules from the new day brand they just remind me so much of the Steve Madden ones, so I had to have them I chose this brown color I do have a Steve Madden pair like this in like a pink so I feel like this would be nice to go with a bunch of different outfits but I guess the mules are back in style again these are $24.99 and then one more shoe I bought these universal thread ones I've been looking for a good black boot and these seem pretty comfortable like I could wear them with pretty much anything I have a tan pair of lug boots like this and I wore them every day in the fall they were so comfortable so I'm hoping they will be just as comfy it does have memory foam in the bottom so they do have that squish to them these are $39.99 and yeah I just think they're a nice style I love the big platform that these have I also picked up this little sink caddy from the hearth and hand line I just need something cute to store like my cleaning brush in, in my soap so I thought this would be perfect right now it's just stored in this metal thing in my sink so it's not the cutest this is definitely more aesthetic this is $14.99 I also grabbed their cleaning brush too because I feel like it would fit perfectly and I need a new one anyways so this one was $4.99 it's just a little dish brush I also needed a new shower curtain I'm hoping this will fit it seems kind of big but I got this one from the threshold line I just really like this neutral design that it has with like the gray and the tan stripes on it. So I got this one, hopefully I like that. And then I believe this is the last thing I got. I did pick up the beloved new scent, the coffee bean and oat milk latte. I decided I didn't need a spray or anything like that. So I just got the scrub. It's a very whipped texture. So I feel like these are gonna be more moisturizing and just a little more gentle on the skin, but this scent smells so good you guys it's one of the best ones that this line has had for sure uh, just super warm and very sweet and rich not super lot it's not very coffee like but maybe more caramel latte type of vibe but it smells incredible so I'm so excited they have a new scent and that is actually everything I bought at Target and I hope you guys enjoyed the shop with me I feel like we actually found some pretty cool stuff and again I will try to have everything linked for you it'll either be on this view product section here or linked down below but that is it for this video thanks so much for watching I will definitely be filming another one of these probably soon in the next two or three weeks whenever they start getting in more fall stuff and Halloween because I'm I'm feeling like after their back to school is done then it's gonna move to Halloween so I cannot wait for that but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys